Whatever you think of coronavirus, and there are a lot of colorful theories going around, now would be the time to dial down the panic, dial up the preparedness, and do your part to help curb the spread. It's true that at-risk people especially are dying and that it's having effects on the economy, though it's not a foundational reason for the current crash. Nonetheless, it's showing governments complete incompetence and often malevolence, and demonstrating the value and necessity of personal responsibility. It's good because there are hints of kindness and goodwill around the world, as there always are in times of fear and chaos, though there are plenty of people acting from those emotional states too. But the most valuable thing about coronavirus is it's proving that despite all the posturing from politicians and people in power and those who support them and bind to their authority, we're all just human. In spite of rhetoric that it's a foreign pandemic, clearly we aren't that different from or superior to people from around the world. If we are just as susceptible and history lesson, Europeans spread disease too. No matter how elevated some people claim to be, no matter how supposedly deserving of reverence and obedience, the emperors have no clothes, including the Pope when it comes to coronavirus. It doesn't matter if you're in the ruling political class and exercise or serve superhuman authority. You can get it too because you're still only human. It doesn't matter if you enforce the ruling class's whims with violence and call it just doing your job. Police are getting it, and even America's sacred cap, the military, can't escape it. Government-enforced borders can't stop it either. It's showing that despite all the nationalism and divisiveness the political class and their media lapdogs employ to rev up fear and animosity toward perceived opponents. No, not just the right. Everyone in power thrives on anger and separation. It doesn't matter. Coronavirus doesn't care. Their authority and supremacy are imaginary. And our fundamental differences as humans are too, and worldwide, human nature is proving consistent. No matter our perceived differences and however much we may view certain people as others, our common needs and human qualities are apparent. There's fear, concern for our loved ones and people at large, and a desire to feel protected in all corners of the earth. And all around the world, there are individuals who want to help. As much as I'd rather there not be a highly contagious virus spreading around the world, it's not a bad lesson for humans to have right now. We're all of the same race, and the ruling class isn't special. They aren't deities. They don't have all the answers. They're the same as you and should be held to the same standards. We don't have the moral authority to violate other people's rights. We're not allowed to use violence against them. We're not allowed to steal. But we're taught to believe that if someone is in a position of authority, they're exempt and we must obey. But this virus is proving they're just like us. Their special status is make-believe, and they don't have any more right to rule over others than we do. This is something to keep in mind as governments capitalize on widespread fear, imposing harsh crackdowns and seizing sweeping powers and moves many of these governments will inevitably try to make permanent. So let coronavirus be a lesson to stop viewing politicians and other authority figures as better than or more powerful than you. Quit giving them special status and relying on them to protect you because governments of all kinds have struggled to contain it. And rather than helping humans in most situations, they leave them worse off. Rely on yourself and your networks and help your community. Because there's no superhuman institution or hero coming to save you, and now is a great time for more people to realize it.